Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of the Introduction to Cybersecurity Linux presented by Rock Forest Labs. I'm your moderator, Zach. Today we're going to deal with a often asked question that can really be overwhelming. How do you scan for IP addresses? Now, the standard in Linux and in the industry is InMap very powerful tool does amazing things however oftentimes there's so much data out there so many instructions you miss or are unable to find the simplest of information sometimes all you need is a quick scan you just need something that will uh, give you the information that you seek in order to continue to move along in your exploits so Today we're going to run Kali Linux. I also have Metasploit here. I'm just going to go ahead and fire that up because we're going to scan our network. So the first thing that we want to know is which software. If you notice, Kali Linux has a lot of options. Right? We have InMap, we have Zen, oops. We have ZenMap, we have Recon NG, we have NetDiscover Multigo, IkeScan all of these, which one do you use? Now it's important to note that InMap and ZenMap are basically the same thing. This is the GUI representation and InMap is the command line. That's what we're going to work with today. But the first thing we need to do is we need to know our own IP address. So if you were following along in the tutorial series, we can say that the method shown, if config and we can pipe that, oops, hit control C, and we can pipe that to grep, and we know it's 192, in this case 192.168.77138. Now if you do not have uh, your InMap installed, you're going to have to install it. And normally you would do that by saying sudo apt get install InMap. Now, when I run this, it's not going to do really anything because I already have it installed, but let's look at it. It's going to say, oh, everything is there, zero upgraded, zero installed. I already have the newest version. However, if you do not have the newest version or you are um, installing it for the first time, it'll ask you a prompt question or two, work your way through it, follow the instructions. Now that you have it installed, you need to run it. Now if you do nmap-h it will show you everything that's available here. And it's very powerful. It takes a long time to get really good at it. However, there are a few basics that you can use and that you will use quite often. So let's look at a couple of them. nmap and we're going to do the sn and we're going to say 192, we need our IP address. Oh, shucks, I cleared it. Let me just go ahead and grab that again real quick. Okay. Nmap dash SN 192 138. Now, that's our IP address, but we want to use a CIDR notation. We want to get rid of this, and we'll say zero. Now, the standard in this case 255.255.255.0 is a slash 24. You can look that up, you can go to a CIDR notation, do an online subnet calculator, there's a whole lot of ways, but we're going to do slash 24. And what that means is we want it to scan everything that's from 0 to 255. So from 0 here, our net mask, following our net mask, we start at 0 and we go everything to our broadcast. So our network to our broadcast. Let's hop over here and make sure that this is in set up and running. We'll give that just a second. And so we're going to go ahead and run that. Let's run it real quick before it comes up. All right. So it says on here, it says, hey, we have host is up 77.1, 77.2, 77.3, 77.4, 77.5, 77.6, 77138 and it says in map done 256 IP addresses that's 0 to 255 for up scanned in 2.34 seconds 
Now, here we are, right? So that one's out. And we have this 254, a 2, and a 1. What are those most likely? Well, we can do other forms of scanning, but for now, we're going to check our machine. We're going to go ahead and log in real quick, and we're using the Metasploit uh, framework there, S uh, M S F admin, M S F admin. Okay, we're logged in. Let's go ahead and do that if config real quick, so we can see what we are. Okay, so here we are on this Metasploit machine, and it's 192, 168, 77, 140. So we come back over here and we say, well, wait a minute, there's no 140. The reason for that is, is we did the scan before that machine was up. Let's go ahead and run it again one more time. We'll let it scan. Should take a few seconds. Now we see, ooh, wait a minute. There's a 140, right? So this is good information. This also tells us that this MAC address is a VMware address. This MAC address is VMware. This MAC address is VMware, as is this one. So we can make some assumptions that they're uh, one's broadcast. Okay, so if our 255 is broadcast, 254 could be our um, could be a switch. It could be different information. Well, we don't know. All we know is that there's a 1, 2, a 140, a 254, and a 138. But we're starting to gather information. Now, the SN, that TAC SN, means to disable port scanning. What happens if we run it, the exact same thing, oops, without the SN? All right, it's not going to let me. Oh no! Well, that's weird. Hmm. All right, and what? We're getting something funky here. There we go. And uh, but this has just crashed on me. So let's reopen it again real quick. And we can do our in map without the dash sn. We just say 192. Uh, does anybody remember what it is? Now you see why it's important to uh, learn these commands. There we go. Especially how to find your IP address. I mean, and I know it sounds simple, but man, you can see we've already used it several times. Now we go back to it, make that a zero and a slash 24, and it's starting to scan again. Now this scan is going to take quite a bit longer, and we got different information. This time we can look at it, and we can say, alrighty, in map scan on one, host is up, it has uh, port 22, 80, 433, 902, and 77. 70, 70 open. For two, everything is closed. For 140, that's this Metasploit over here. We can look at it. Yeah, that's 140. Wow, look at that. 21 is open. 22, 23, and it continues to go down. Lots of stuff there. Of course, that's Metasploitable, which is meant for you to be able to hack it and work on vulnerabilities. So it's uh, purposely open. Notice here we are, 138. All ports are closed. So we got some good, useful information. You'll use those two scans a lot. Are there alternatives? Yes, there are. Another really good option is NetDiscover. And we can come over here and we can do the same thing. If you don't have it, you would say sudo apt get install NetDiscover. Oh, and, of course, I already have that as well, but if you don't, it'll follow the same process. Now, one interesting thing about NetDiscover, you have to be sudo. That's important. You have to be root. And the other is the commands are short. It's NetDiscover. 
All right. In this case, it's telling me that my promiscuous mode on Ethernet 0 is not allowed. We just click OK. Notice the layout here, and it's starting to scan. Now, in this case, it's scanning a slash 16, which is huge. Well, we'll let it uh, go ahead and get up there. We know it's not, until it gets to uh, 77, it's not going to do anything. Once it hits 77, so we're at 60, 3, 6. So notice the 16 moves up by 3. Here we go. Now we'll start seeing useful information. And it's going to continue all the way up. We assume there's nothing else there, but we'll go ahead and let it scan. Well, let's look at what we do know. We know this 140 at the VMware machine. There's the MAC address, and this tells us our MAC vendor. Other, if you do a physical scan, you may get a network um, vendor that provides you with the information to let you know what kind of machine it is. So NetDiscover is easy to use. Uh, a couple of the basics for InMap are easy. Remember these are aggressive scans. So do not scan the network that you do not have permission. That's one of the rules, right? Remain ethical. So setting up your own lab, scanning your own equipment is the safest way to go, especially in a virtual environment. So I appreciate your time. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you do, like, subscribe, and click the notifications button. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time, and happy hacking.